Well, hello, hello, and welcome back to another uh, stream today. This is a busy, busy Friday. Happy Friday to all of you. I'm glad you're here. Uh, welcome to another lesson of the Discover Headless Tech course. I am Marcelo Lund, the Headless Creator, as always, right there. Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Get a hold of me, email me, uh, send me questions, comments, ideas. I'd love to hear from you. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, today, we're going to be talking to you about how to add personalization to Contentful using the Ninetailed API. And the person which will tell us how to do that is Alex uh, Brownreuter, and he's one of the co-founders of Ninetail. So um, you're in for a pretty cool uh, stream today. But before we get started, you know how this works, because if you were here an hour ago, you know exactly how it works. Go get your account at headlesscreator.com. Register, it's 100% free. This um, lesson will be available on demand right after we're done with this. You'll have access to that lesson and to the entire course as well, uh, with tons of lessons and podcast interviews. Plus, you'll have access to all the other um, courses, including the Content Modeling Weekly course, which has um, over 43 lessons in Miro boards, a lot of focus on uh, headless CMSs courses, including the focus on Contentful one, and of course the Discover Headless Tech. So get your free account, please do that. I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, um, I wanna remind you to uh, Jamstack uh, uh, Jammies are going on right now, the awards and uh, we're hoping to be uh, nominated as one of uh, uh, of the awards for the best content creator. So please go to jamstack.org, click on the jammies there, or just search it on Google and vote for Headless Creator. I really would appreciate that. All right, that's enough of marketing. No more marketing, we're done with marketing. So you know how this works. For the on-demand version, I'm gonna restart the intro and then we're going to go ahead and uh, get Alex to jump in. We'll start the conversation and we'll get going on the lesson. So I will see you in 10 seconds. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Discover Headless Tech course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, there is my contact info, marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Feel free to reach out to me, send me any questions, comments, feedback, ideas, whatever you like. I'd love to hear from you. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Today, I have a special guest presenter. His name is Alex Brownreuter. He's the co-founder of Ninetail. He's going to show us how to add personalization to Contentful using the Ninetailed API. Now, I'm not going to tell you any more about him because I'm going to bring Alex in. Alex, welcome. Hi, Marcelo. Thanks for having me. <laughs> how are you, sir? I'm fine. Thanks. And you? Excellent. You are in Germany if, or where? No, no, no. You're not in Germany. You Where are you located yes. now? I am in I am in Berlin, Germany. Oh, you are in Berlin, Germany. Okay, perfect. Right. All right. So over there, it's about what, like uh, seven o'clock or six o'clock in the afternoon, right? Uh, it's seven o'clock in the evening. Yeah. Seven o'clock. All right. Very good. Well, I'm glad you're here. Um, real quick, um, I know you're the founder of Nine or co-founder of Nine Tailed. I'm actually. Yes. I had a conversation, a really good conversation, with your other co-founder, uh, Andy. Yes, with we had a podcast yes. interview, which was great. But um, how did you get into tech? <laughs> um, so on a uh, on a not professional basis, I'm I'm in, into tech for for my whole life. <laughs> so I think I, I was my, my first time on a computer was when I was free. So my my, my dad oh, wow. got, a, got a computer quite early in in the nineties, and um, yeah. So so my, my brother is is, is uh, like twelve years older as me. So when when he went to study and I was eight years old. I wrote my first code on, on basic. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what computer, what was your first computer? Uh, so I, I don't know what's, what's the English word for that, but it's like a, a 386, uh, computer. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The 386. Yeah. From Intel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Well, I'm a little bit older <laughs> than you. Everybody knows. Um, I, I obviously I look at older. Um, uh, my first computer was a Commodore VIC 20. So we're talking about oh. way <laughs> back. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Total timer. Uh, so obviously you love technology, you love programming. Yes, definitely so you, I do. So, 
Yeah. So how did you get into web, into web programming? When did you do that and why? Um, that was when I began my studies. So before I was uh, modding games uh, during my youth. Okay. So and I also studied games engineering. Um, and yes, yeah, so I think during my first semesters via a friend, I got interested a lot into startups and then I got, uh, yeah, got, got, got my toes wet in, in this area. And um, yeah, so one of my first challenges was to simply build websites. And uh, then I, I, I learned all that stuff by myself and I, it, 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 it was a lot of fun for me. And yeah, so, so as I, I developed myself over the, over the last 10 years to, to where I am now. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a full stack developer or do you focus more on the front end or back end? Um, yeah, so, uh, I am what is what is uh, said as a full stack developer. So I, I know both sides. Um, so there were, were times where I built uh, native apps like Android and iOS apps. So there were times where I focused a lot more on front end. Um, I'm very fluid with React. I began with with Angular. So I, I know most of the front end technologies uh, quite well. But I'm also very fluid on the, on the back end. So um, by now I'm, I'm more more on the back end side, doing building uh, cloud native data pipelines. I'm very focused on, on high performance, very, very speedy uh, uh, stuff there. And I, I like like to, to build uh, technology with, with bleeding edge technology. So like I, I always tell, so I was uh, 2014, I believe I was on one of the first meetups where, where AWS Lambda came out and everybody was laughing about it. And I was, was, was one <laughs> of the first fanboys and now everybody is kind of using it. So, um, yeah. yeah, so. That, Very that, cool. that's that's what, what what my heart beats for <laughs> Very cool. All right. Well, we're going to get started on the lesson. But before we do that, I'd like to close my interviews with something personal. Everybody knows I always yeah. ask about movies because I'm obviously a big movie <laughs> fan. I'm not going to ask you that. Uh, being German, you got to like beer, I'm assuming. Sorry? Being German, you have to like beer, right? You like beer. Yes, I do. I'm from Bavaria okay. even. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite beer? Um, uh, I like Pilsner Urquell at the moment a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I like the dark. I go for Guinness. I love Guinness. Um, mm. you know, the foamy, the, the foam top. I, I love that. But, um, okay. That's good. I just wanted to know because, you know, maybe I'll get a look up some, uh, good German beers here in the States. So yes, perfect. All right, Alex, um, I'm going to show your screen. So let's get, mm -hmm. go ahead and get your screen ready and yes. I'm going to go ahead and show it here. Mm hmm. Okay, then I switch to another tab so we won't have to there you infinite go. So mirror effect. Anybody, <laughs> if you have questions, let like, you know how this works. Put them on chat. I'll ask Alex. Alex, if I have questions, I'll jump in. But otherwise, it's all yours. Great, thanks. So I will directly dive in. So I have brought us a, a short demo um, of an e-commerce e store, which is personalized, just so you all can get like an overview of what is possible with personalization. Um, yeah, and I want to want to show you the shop shortly. So we have multiple widgets. So first off, the shop is built on Next.js. Um, the shop is hosted on Versal. Um, it uses uh, Contentful in the back end, uh, Shopify for the checkout functionality, and Ninetail for the personalization part. So we see here we have like a banner component, um, we have a hero component, we have a grid of products, we have like um, yeah category or we have pictures of categories where, where which is short links to the to the categories we have like a call out section where you can place marketing content we have like this standard newsletter content uh, or newsletter sign up which <laughs> pretty much every website has and we have like this carousel with uh, products so and now yeah for sure you're here for the personalization so i sh uh, want to show you around and the first personalization is a personalization which everybody of you will see uh, depending on the city uh, where he or she will live and as i'm right now in berlin we can see here um, i'm in berlin so but that's not the only thing we can do i will log in so i have already a user which is headless creator dot uh, at nine tailed .io. and I will log in and here we will see so as and that's very special about Ninetailed we are working with profiles on the edge um, through the login I sent uh, my, my email address 
because here I, it was a completely fresh setup, so nothing was in the cache in the client or something like that. I have sent down, okay, um, the login is via uh, Alex at Ninetail.io, uh, at Headless Creator at Ninetail.io. So, and there was also another existing profile um, on, on, our, uh, on our edges, which told me, okay, the first name of this user is Alex, and here we can see it. We merge Alex, get a 20% coupon on your next order when you spend more than 200 uh, euro. So let's do that. Like, okay, I would like to build, uh, uh, yeah, I would like to get the jacket. Let's add it to cart and proceed to checkout. And I shortly will, oh, I will go to, to the other account. <laughs> checkout so this here is plain Shopify <laughs> uh, but it's it's quite interesting what I want to show is um, that we can get uh, data from Shopify sent to us uh, via our API so because this is not on your website or on our website any anymore this uh, is completely a, another domain which will send us via the API uh, the order information so now let's let's go for for Shopify and pro, uh, process this I will go back to um, our demo and let's go there. So here's still the, the coupon because uh, Shopify is processing our minions are bundling our, our orders. Another uh, thing I would like to show is if I go, for example, to the women's uh, category and for sure, normally you would detect if somebody is, uh, is a woman, uh, if this person is looking at a, a lot of products for uh, yeah, <laughs> staying sane and not uh, clicking a lot around. Uh, we had it on, on one, one uh, uh, view and we get back. Uh, our uh, store has recognized, oh, this, this is probably a woman who is surfing there. We are having like a coupon for, for, for women's sale and uh, we are having here this uh, watches. So that's it for now on the uh, on the demo. I will get back. Um, for now, I will show you uh, a short overview about the architecture, how a nine tail works, or how you can build that. So here is a map of what we do. So basically, in the core or in the heart, nine tail is an API-based platform. So that means. Um, yeah, we are processing data for, on our edge data platform from multiple sources, and we are integrated via SDKs and, and apps into different uh, headless CMS, right now mainly Contentful. So this is the part where we will look in our, uh, yeah, in the next 20 minutes uh, more, more deeply, where we'll show some code. That's why here we have this content sources. So we have a Contentful app, which we will install there. Um, we have SDKs for Next.js, React, Gatsby, and for Vue at the moment, and they are growing. But also, we are sending data from like a shop via a Shopify plugin or via a segment. We are sending the data from multiple uh, solutions or via their own, SD, uh, own APIs. We are sending them to our platform, which we can uh, unify there via our merging uh, uh, strategies and send them back to the client.